Hi friends, welcome back to today's this. And in this video, you are going to learn insert update delete using Flask in the back end and in the front end we are using Angular. In the last video, you saw that how you can create a form that means how you can insert the data and also we have shown the data into the list and in this video we are going to work on uh, delete and update section. So here in the edit section and delete so first let's uh, work on delete section if you, if you go back to uh, our uh, uh, API then you will see that in this function delete uh, we are passing the ID and based on the ID it will be deleted and the message will return deleted okay so we will call this uh, function here in our service file here for deleting the product we have already listed this one so first let's go back to this list.html and here we will write function for deleting so ehref or a auto it's right here button and then button inside that we will so here <coughs> we have created a button and on click delete student and what we are going to do here we are passing the id of that product id so in the list of component of ts this product id will be coming from here okay so in the list of student uh, ts here we will create this function of same name here then here inside we will call here this function delete products then let's check here console dot log so here will be actually delete not student delete product the same here will be delete product so list inside list power now let's run the browser here we need to write ng click so in here it will be id your prod id whatever prod id and this same prod id will check here is coming or not so here if we click on delete then somehow it is coming undefined the region is it is displaying here name description price and brand but not id that is why when we try to query here in the list product the, uh, here list product sorry html yeah this one when we are trying to pass here id just i'll try to print here id the id is not displaying here you can see the id is not displaying here so what we need to do going back into the or flask uh, model okay here in the flask model we have not added here id that is why it is not shown here in the model we have created id but not called in the json id so what we will have to do include id here also so id then id now if we check here refresh okay once again we will have to run then refresh then you can see now id is also coming because we require id for deleting so now now uh, if you refresh here then you can see the id is also coming and when you click on delete then you can see the id is also passing here okay so based on this now we will uh, delete the product here we will write query for this and also here so this is complete query here 
So product service, business service, delete product. So let's see in the product service. Do we have no? We don't have any delete product service. So that's why we are getting error. So we will create this um, function here. If you write query later, so delete product, and then we are passing here product ID. So we will pass here product ID, and then so here will be product ID. Then delete this uh, product ID. Just put here any type. Okay, here too we have to pass here ID. We have passed here for the ID. Let me subscribe. Doesn't again type word. Okay, here because we have not actually these ten plots. Product ID. So whatever will be coming from here. Actually, this will be the list products. Yeah, this is fine. So whatever will be coming from here, from products, then. So that's it. In this now, so what is here? We are passing this ID to here. And same uh, inside the products, it will fill the whatever will be deleted. After deleting the rest, the remaining will once again be assigned so that our file will refresh. Means this will have everything except the deleted one. Means rest. Okay. After deleting, here this is filtering. Okay. So whatever has been deleted, now filter. And after filtering, let's put into here. And finally, we are assigning here, and this one once again will go to here products. Okay, so here it will show the rest of the things except deleted. Now, let's go to this file and create here. So this is complete function here. GD product for any then HTTP params. This inside parameter we are passing ID with product ID and delete.php and then. Parents. Let me explain once again. This ID will come actually. This will be ID only, no product ID because we are passing directly ID. Okay, so there is no requirement of this, only ID we can write. Okay, so it will be in parameters, it will be passed ID ID. Okay, here and then this is delete. So here will be no delete of page actually uh, in our case because that is my previous program that you write. So here when you write delete 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 oh, yes this one. So this one is single product under single product so single product yes. So we will pass here slash product slash product base URL then okay. product product actually this is for here and then ID it will be passing okay so also we don't need actually these parent things so, so just comment it directly we can pass this here after slash okay plus uh, slash plus id we will pass like this in this case normally in php we have to save this as a parameter because there is not php in this case there is no php there is no extension of the file so we don't have any uh, we don't have to worry about this dot so normally in php or other programming languages normally where there is extension like dot php or kspx uh, dot jsps in that case we have to pass that as a parameter but here in this case we don't require that and also here you can see the error is now gone okay so now let's try to delete and one more thing actually here is product name so let me change it to product name actually 
Alright, now let's try to delete this one side. Mm, not found. There is something wrong here. Parameter ID product and ID. It should be product and ID. Yes, this is delete should be slash five thousand slash four zero four. Let's try again. Still getting this. Product not found. Okay, so it got deleted actually. But there is something wrong here. Only this ID is going there. Message deleted. It's not proper. Let's do one thing. Let's simply navigate into list product deleting we have to call this router not here free we have to call private router here private router Ooh. Automatically it got included. So now we need to include here router and then inside parameter constructor we have to pass here router of this this router here calling here. So router dot navigate after deleting it will go to list of router. Now let's try again. Just let's add some product. Uh, I'm just putting anything. Guys, brand added now. This one is also not working because we are redirecting to the same page. Okay. If we try, then it also doesn't work because we are redirecting to the same page. So we have another solution. Let's comment it. And this will definitely work this one what we are doing we are setting timeout so after one second it will refresh and it will fetch the remaining data from the database from the rest area okay so now let's try this okay, this is an extra let's delete okay this is a timeout so after one second after deleting after one second it will get refreshed and the refresh data will show here so let's try let's go to here add two products here price something submit let's add another, another one then brand anything okay we have two products now we are deleting this okay then you can see now once again if I delete to get replaced so that's it in the delete section so guys in the next video we will meet in the edit section so thanks for watching bye bye